This is uh, either an electromagnetic vehicle or just part of the crystalline structure that are bright. Because look, look, those are the crystalline structure. Look how complex that she is because of the three dimensionality. See, look, and then he goes into the, he, he covers the whole moon. I mean, from the moon to earth to every single part of the solar system. So how in the world anything can fly through that? Maybe nothing is flying and it's only an illusion. Yeah, launch your rocket that you think is going to fly that. I'll, I'll do the rest. I'll make you believe. That's what, I don't remember who said that the only way to escape the solar system was with anti-gravity. That's the only way because it, it breaks the laws of this holographic part. Look at that, my, my, my. touching the ground on the moon, on the moon crust. No, no, that is too sad. from that Cassini orbiter that show these white tubes. But 
but in reality it's because they're part of that crystalline deal that is all over the, what we think is a space. It's, it's that, all of that. Kansas City, he did one, uh, he did a Exactly like Robert Pirner, the moon is your worst nightmare. Well, now you see this is Apollo 14, this is not Apollo 8. And we, the one that has Camilla show in that video, the first one that he did about NASA tampering with all the images. Look at that, man. That is one badass tool. They're probably going in and out to that or they're part of the control. Well, it is part of the control, but see the geometry, how it's part of the specific patterns. This is what it started my curiosity about this video with space. And the images from the Apollo 8 that show these tools, vertical tools all over the place. Just there, it's on every single planet and moon. So, how the hell anything can be rotating? See what I'm saying? How the hell can anything be rotating? Now, look at the comparison of this with the one that uh, our Peter Nell did. This one right here. Look, the deal when you don't really know exactly like I did at first. I didn't know none of this. Do enormous things. Look at that. And the hands of creation is in every which way right here. See, I look. That's exactly like that other picture I just showed from Apollo 14. This is the uh, work. From our Peter now. That's where my thing ends. I can pass that. Look at that. That's the upper, the space above the moon. Uh, I, I was just showing in the other image. Look, it's exactly like it. And I mean, this is exactly what. Wow, man, look at that. That is insane, man, look. So how anything can be rotating? See, look at the pair of eyes that are showing right there. Look, the pair of eyes. What is that? Yeah, right there, look. One eye, another eye, right there. Look, a pair of eyes. But it's none of that, it's an illusion, look. There it is. One eye, then another eye. Look at that. 
But when you get closer, then you realize that it's, it's a hand, a bunch of hands that make that illusion from far away, illusion of eyes. Oh, look how freaking thick with a structure, crystalline structure, is the least. I mean, look at that, a pair of eyes. That's the kind of illusion this key-cast geometry creates. Look at that hand right there. But look, that's how much they sanitize the image. They look was all in every single dark area of the moon surface. It's all this structure. Or well, look at how anything can be rotating. If all these things are attached to the moon, all these millions of structures and those tubes that are, you know, look at the huge long tube. It goes into the, the, the hole and into the crust and it continues. Look, right there. So, what, how can anything be rotating? That, 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 I mean, what kind of physics is this, man? Look, this is the galaxy. That is a picture of the galaxy. The, 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 the space and the galaxy. Look at that. And Robert Pirinel was saying that that was impossible, that that could be, that's how it could be. Look at that face. These nasty looking faces. Look at that. It's it look like 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 some demonic or, or ghostly looking something. Uh, that's what he found in those images of galaxies. That is an image of a galaxy right there that he worked on. Imagine that. He said that that, that, that was no there was no way that it could be like that. Well, it is. So think about that. That's the, the visible universe that we are living in. It's either a projection or it's some kind of construct that is a make-believe thing. Now the thing is what kind of physics is employing this thing? So is this, this is... I mean, there's some nasty looking faces there, my goodness. Some monster looking faces, boy. You look what he found on, on the moon, crossed. All these nasty looking whatever entities and and that's why NASA tampered with the images because it's it just I mean shit you, people see that they'll freak out the fingernails appearing and, and retracting like vibrate Going back to the moon image, the Apollo 14. Look at the, 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 the same thing that Robert Peter now 